Hi, I'm Arlen Geyer. Sometimes a scene has more contrast than your digital sensor can capture. Like this one. The highlights are blown out on the uh, bright side and the shadows are uh, obscured on the dark side. You can see in the histogram up here on the upper right that uh, is reflecting that, that on the right side of the histogram the uh, reflection what the sh the highlights look like is going right off the chart and likewise on the left side reflecting the uh, the blacks the uh, histogram goes right off the chart so in the dark areas uh, we are lacking detail and in the highlights we are lacking detail so this is what HDR or high dynamic range imagery is all about is to solve this problem and so if in the scene you have a tripod, you can uh, expose three or more uh, shots of the scene to try to uh, get the full range of contrast. So you would bracket your exposures to uh, less exposure and a, a, a meter indicated exposure and more exposure. And uh, then you could, in Photoshop or another application, you could then combine those together to uh, create a composite that is um, has the, contains the full dynamic range. But suppose you don't have a tripod and you want to do this. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to use Adobe Lightroom, which is what you're looking at now, to create a high dynamic range image, high dynamic range image from a single image. So first, I'm going to go into the develop module, and in the develop module. I am going to uh, actually. I'm going to create a. Um, where is it? I can never find these things. Virtual copy, and with this virtual copy, I am going to uh, decrease the exposure till I get. I want to try to get uh, some nice detail in my highlights. So I'm going to leave it about there. And you can see on the histogram that now I've backed it off so that I have detail in all of my highlights. So that's good for that one. And now I want to go back to my original and create another virtual copy. I'm getting this virtual copy uh, dialog by right clicking. And on the second virtual copy, I am going to um, increase the exposure to open up the shadows. And again, I'm looking at my histogram to see and Looks like I'm not going to really be able to. I don't want to go that far. So I'm going to be happy with about there, which is a little more than a one and two thirds stop increase in exposure. So now I'm going to go back to the uh, grid view in the library and grab all three of these the original plus the two virtual copies. So I've selected them all, which I did by clicking on one and then shift clicking on the third one. And now by right clicking I get this menu and I can edit in. And I don't want to just edit in Photoshop, I want to merge to HDR Pro in Photoshop. So now you can't see everything that's going on here because uh, my Photoshop screen is bigger than the area that I'm capturing for this video, but you can see some of what's going on and depending on the speed of your computer, this may take more or less time. I'm getting this manually set EV message because the two virtual copies don't have exposure data in the metadata, so I'm just going to click um, on these and then click back again until eventually a OK sign shows up and I'm going to click OK. I'm not going to change anything there. And now I am in the, I'll drag this down so you can see, actually let me see if I can, I can see you can see a little bit more of the image. That's about the best I can do here. And maybe we can, no, I can't make it any smaller. Okay, so we have a bunch of sliders here and we have some presets. Uh, I'm going to go with the default preset and um, my biggest concern is I want to try to get as much of the highlight as I can, so I'm going to back off the highlights in here to see if I can get a little bit more detail, but I don't want it to go too gray. And 
you're going to find that we can't get as subtle of um, highlight detail as we did in the original, but we can get pretty close to it. So I'm going to go with that. The shadows, I'm going to leave everything else just the way it is. And then I'm going to, I'm dragging this up so you can see my OK button. I'm going to click OK. You can fiddle around with these uh, adjustments in the Merge to HDR uh, dialog. Uh, for the sake of just demonstration, I'm going to go with the simplest one I can. And so now we have the composite image, and I'm going to click File and Save. And it'll save that as a TIFF file, because that's what I've got configured. It's saving it just with the same file name as one of the, uh, at, well, same file name as the original, but uh, .tiff. And now we're finished with Photoshop. So I'm going to close out of Photoshop, go back to Lightroom. And here is the original, and I'm going to control click on the one we just created, and type C for compare. And there is our comparison. And you can see that we've got a great deal more highlight detail. And the shadows are about the same as they were. Um, you can click in here to increase that. You can see the shadows are a little more open in here than they were in the original. And the highlights are definitely uh, better. Still not perfect. I've got a little blown out highlight in there, but a whole lot better than it was. And now if we look at the histogram, let's um, go back to grid view. And I want to look at just the TIFF file. And if you take a look at the histogram here, you can see that my shadows are actually uh, uh, not quite black. So actually, I'm going to make a little adjustment. Go to Develop, D. And I'm going to adjust my blacks here to pull that black down. And also, I'm going to pull the highlight up a little bit with the exposure to make sure that is white. So I'm going to bring that right up to the edge, but not go over it. So right to there and check my black one more time. Make sure that's going right about to the edge and not over it. And there is my final product. So I'm going to go back to the grid view and we'll do a comparison one more time. So C for compare. And this time they're reversed. Here is my final one, and here is the original. And you can see uh, that my shadows are more open, um, and yet we saw in the histogram that the shadows are indeed going down into black, and the highlights are have a great deal more detail. So there you go. We have an HDR uh, product from a single image. Thank you.